going back to Lapu Lapu to my best friend house so I'm gonna stay there for a couple of days because it's weekend so some most of the most of the office are closed so I don't want to stay here for now I wanna you know go back there so I could have time to cook for myself and enjoy washing my clothes <laughs> by hands so yeah I'm ready to go and I'm gonna take um, move it or a motorbike that you can um, order online so I mean it's an application and then I'm gonna take um, Vihar from Ayala going to Lapu Lapu and another tricycle so yeah we'll see you in a bit good morning everyone I just back here in my best friend place and I'm looking forward to cook my meal for later on I'm excited to eat chicken adobo so as you know guys I'm mostly a vegetarian but now I'm very flexible but I try to avoid other meat aside chicken so yeah I'm excited to cook um, adobo chicken adobo and of course I am excited to show you around here our humble abode <laughs> yeah I am going to stay here again for a couple of days before headed back to the city to continue um, my paperwork my medical also uh, it took so long anyway I am going to show you how it looks inside of her room this is like probably six by six the size of this um apartment it looks very like it looks tiny because of the stuff that i that i have that i left here in my best friend um place and also hers so it it occupied um a lot of space right now here in her place but soon i will be giving away some of my stuff and some of my stuff i will keep it because um i value some of the stuff that i have before especially the the plates that i was um collected um way back then so i can let it go so i keep it in one place and some of my clothes that i, I still have it here probably i will give it away and sell some of my stuff and also the refrigerator goes to my co-workmates before who has like kind of like um unfortunate situation i mean um, they're struggling when i was working with her um, even and I, I guess um i have to check her situation right now because um one of my subscriber or yeah Yes, one of my subscribers wanted to donate um, this refrigerator to someone that who really needs the refrigerator. So we make a deal because I really want to sell my refrigerator. Mm, but he has a really good heart. He offered me that he wanted to buy the refrigerator and give it away because of course he cannot use it because he's not here in the Philippines. So yeah he will give it away and i do really appreciate your kindness and you know you being generous um to the people who really need um yeah like especially the refrigerator and i do really appreciate um your support also you know it means a lot to me 
so yeah i'm really excited to contact her and talk to her about the refrigerator <laughs> so yeah i'm really excited honestly so of course i am going to show you around um <laughs> just don't mind the mess there's like things are scattered everywhere <laughs> so <laughs> this is looks like a stack room so forgive me and yeah it's just like you know it's a stack room for us <laughs> So my best friend is not here. He, she's in Bohol and sometimes I I stay here. Sometimes I move to the city. Sometimes I'm out of the city. So yeah, this is probably our kind of like um, a place to stay if we wanted to, if I wanted to stay for free. So yeah, I am going to show you guys. <laughs> so let's go. So this is the entire room. So this is my stuff right here. This is all my stuff that I put it right here. I lived it for how many years? Not three years, four years, I guess. Three years, yeah, yeah, three years. And this is her closet where I put my stuff in this level. So I'm occupying her closet also. And this is some of my stuff. This, this is hers. And then the rest would be mine. <laughs> And that's her stuff right there, which is her luggages. But that's my shoes, my yoga mat, and then that's this is my um, holder for my papers or documents. And this is the bed. This is this, the bed that we shared. Um, so that this is my territory, and this is her territory. <laughs> so I always sleep right here, and then the bed kind of like, you know. <laughs> Um, pulling you when you sleep because it, the the spring is broken already so this is the window that we don't use it anymore because of the the dogs that tied up in our window screen or the grill the grill of the window so we i have to sell it the entire corner where no air can get in because like you know dogs poop every single day and probably three times four times a day so the smell goes directly to the room so i have to seal it out because i can't sleep or even in the morning i can't even eat because of how bad it is i mean they have like three dogs right probably outside so you have to seal it and buy a new curtain to make it look you know vibrant still natural light goes in so yeah even we don't have a proper window we don't have a window right <laughs> i mean we have a window but it's not we don't use it anymore and this is all her sticker right there when she got a birthday our friend sur surprise ara so she still keep it and she collected some of yeah she collected cups um from friends and she bought it some of that and yeah this is my refrigerator that soon i will give it away and this is our this is my stuff or also um, my plates my glasses um, this is my stuff right here for my food right here but if i'm not if i'm not here then that would be in kind of like empty very organized but now it's all over the place because i'm preparing myself to um, eat something before headed out so yeah that's my drone and this is our clothes and yeah there's nothing to see and the bucket for your peeing if you want to pee in the middle of the night and you don't want to go outside to use the bathroom so yeah this is the room so this is pretty much it so um it will, it's good the size of this room is okay for two people but because of our stuff it kind of looked like small and also because of this one it's kind of like occupying the big space and yeah this is pretty much it <laughs> this is the room <laughs> so yeah this is the room I am happy that you know Ara let me stay here and anytime if I wanted to stay for free 
she doesn't care so most of the time I'll be here to save money um, you know because renting even a hostel it, it, it it's still expensive especially if you're here in the city so sometimes I'll do back and forth city to here then yeah I some most of the time if I don't have to you know t um, do a paperwork in the city I will stay here as much as I wanted and yeah but if of course if I have time to get out of course I would rather go to Sikihor because I wanted to close I wanted to get close to the nature but yeah I am so blessed grateful that I have a best friend that who allowed me to use her space and put my stuff and even it's occupying her space <laughs> um, she doesn't care because she I don't know she doesn't really care about it she she's very uh, find me putting all my stuff right here it's been three years now and then yeah my stuff still here so yeah I'm grateful to have a best friend like her and yeah I I can't thank her enough because I'm saving money so and I will go out to buy um, the ingredients that I need for chicken adobo because I really need to eat something a proper meal because I haven't eaten anything yet and it's 1 p.m. so I will cook chicken adobo well you know most of you guys probably wondering why I started eating chicken but chick honestly chicken is good um, I don't have a problem eating meat but I have to be careful with my you know I'm, I'm very conscious about my health so I always choose what meat that I will eat so mm, chicken probably is the best for me right now because i don't sometimes i don't like the smell of pork and the beef so i try to avoid them so i i will enjoy the chicken most of the time so yeah i'm excited because chicken adobo is so so freaking good and you know with the rice of course <laughs> so i am going to get the ingredients in the market in the wheat market and then I'm going to cook later on and of course I'm gonna show you and if you and if I have time I will show you around here there's nothing to see so yeah I don't know if you're interested maybe not. <laughs> no so by the way um, per month of this room is around 26 25 to 26 dollar per month so it's like 1500 pesos and yeah um without um, electricity of course and water but it's pretty small if you don't have any appliances if you're not using um ac or conditioner then i think it's very cheap and in the water also it's very cheap i don't know if ara paid for water because the water is deep well so i don't know but for sure the electricity she's paying the electricity but as of now because i am the one who's staying right now i am paying the electricity and i'm using the refrigerator fan and i have like three gadgets so sometimes i'll pay 400 up per month depends on your usage and yeah that's pretty much it so <laughs> i will see you later and so get everything i need here So I'm headed back to my place. Uh, I walk three minutes because it's pretty close. So I was thinking of going to Grand Mall, the market, the wet market here, but um, I don't need it because when I saw the vendor, they have a plenty of options. So yeah, I just got it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So I just got it, so I don't need it. I don't want to pay for another tra um, transportation. So I'm here. Which one? So there's banana. I'm going to buy banana right here. So yeah, here you also have this. And so yeah, I got my banana right there. I'm going to pay. 
Yeah, I'm headed back to my place. So after a few minutes of walking under the sun, I'm sweating, my sweat is dripping. That's how hot it is here right now. So I got some banana. This is for three days supply, three, two days supply. I got um, litos, which is 300 pesos per kilo. So I have these small. And then the banana, it's 60 pesos per kilo. So I paid 36 pesos for this. This is like a native banana that I always like love to get because it's sweet. Especially if the skin is ugly, then it means it's, it's sweet. Like me sweating. Um, I got cucumber, I don't know how much, well, I don't know how much the cucumber, but they said it's expensive. And then I got mango. Mango is like 150 per kilo. And then I got lemon, 20. I just don't like the plastic. Um, I got the carrots. I also forgot to ask, but you know, all the vegetables are expensive because of the supply. And yeah, because of the heat. So the vegetable died can't grow properly because of the heat and you know no water the the soil is very very dry right now so it's not the best time to plant also i get this one i don't know the english of these but this is vegetables um i got the tomato three tomato 100 pesos per kilo this one 120 i guess yeah, I got this one, which is five pesos, and I got two avocado, which is one fifty per kilo. But I got two, so yeah, I pay seventy something, seventy plus. So this is all I got. <laughs> so this is what. So in total, without the banana, it's five hundred twenty, but the lady gave me a discount for twenty pesos. And this one is 36 pesos and i don't want to negotiate because the one who's selling is the kid so but yeah this is 536 in total so in dollar i would put in the screen that's how expensive nowadays here in the philippines i feel like i can't even afford to stay here in the philippines anymore because of the prices i don't know it's so expensive um vegetables it's expensive Fruits, it's very expensive. You know, accommodation is expensive. My friend that I met yesterday, I mean, my old friend that who lives in Vietnam for like around six months, I guess. And she said that she just arrived a couple of days ago, a couple of days ago, and she's complaining how expensive to live here in the Philippines than in Vietnam. Um, I can feel her after staying in Chiang Mai. In comparison, um, yeah, I would say that Philippines is probably one of the expensive um, country to live in, especially these days. Like everything is expensive. I don't know why. I'm just amazed how everything is the prices went up even we have a lot of um, sources here we have mountains we have river we have ocean I don't know we have nature we have minerals and I don't know why it everything is expensive and then you know businesses or um, a seller or selling stuff they would say that you know transportation is expensive i mean the gas is expensive the fuel is expensive and i was like yeah you get the right reason but i think they take advantage of that to, like yeah probably sometimes they do and put into the, the vegetables and fruits and whatever so yeah it's expensive 
And so, yeah, my friend told me that I, I cried because I can't even afford to live here in my own country. So she's planning to go back to Vietnam. And I said, maybe I could join <laughs> because I feel like um, I'm trying too hard to save and then work. But, you know, it's, it's not enough still. And you have your own, you know, um, needs. I mean, also I travel, I love to travel. So it's another expenses. And if I don't travel, then it's gonna be boring. Like life is so boring. And for me, it's, it's useless because that's what I wanted to do. Like I wanna travel, I wanna see the world. Yeah, I feel like, you know, if I get a chance to move somewhere outside, then probably I will choose between the three country which is Indonesia, Thailand, and Vietnam, either three of that places. They're, they're very, very cheap, so yeah. Philippines is getting expensive. So how much more in the coming few years? I don't know. So now I need to get the job and save and then move somewhere else. <sighs> Why? I love Philippines. I love my own country because it's beautiful, but yeah, the price is, is not. So anyway, <laughs> I will clean my fruits and I will eat my snacks. I'll eat fruits. And then also I'll cook later soon. I'm sweating, oh my God, it's dripping. Here's my meal. This is gonna be lunch, brunch, and later on, uh, <laughs> and later on, I'm going to make adobo. But I need fruits for now, so yeah, I'm going to start with fruits, and then of course I got avocado. I'm so excited! Woo, excited! And then of course the bread, and I have some hummus left over from uh, before I left, so I put it in the refrigerator. And yeah, I'm going to eat here outside because <laughs> are you white? Um, I am going to eat here outside because it's fresh. There's some air. And if I'm gonna eat inside, I feel like I'm eating inside of the oven. So yeah, why not? And no one's here. This is the washroom or where everyone wash their clothes. So we have faucet right there, hanging area. Then of course, the greens, few greens, <laughs> but it almost dried. So yeah, it's like some of the leaves are dead. But for now, I am going to eat and I'm going to stand. I don't care. There's no chair. There, there's a chair, but it's pretty short. Maybe I could. Well, that's me. Oh, perfect. I did my live stream here. As you remember, I did my live stream here a couple days ago, and yeah. So I'm going to enjoy myself right here. Oh, I'm so excited! Wait, I'm gonna wash my hands. So we'll start with mango, of course. Love mango. This is how you eat the seeds. Yeah. And then banana. Be good if ah, that's fine. I can't complain. Mm. 
my avocado and of course This is cat. I don't know. I put uh, I give a bread, piece of bread. I don't know if he's going to eat it. Hmm. Hmm. Finally, he just snip it, snip it, and then didn't eat it. Now, hmm. finally, eating, eating, eating. I'm excited to cook later. Mm. I really want to have like a proper meal. Mm. But I, I, I had like before, the day before yesterday, because um, in the hostel I meet this one Turkish girl. Um, she's traveling by her own and then but she she's working in Germany and she moved to Australia recent uh, well a few months ago to work again and then now she's going back after here in the Philippines she's going back to Germany to continue working um, so yeah this is her first Asian country. I talked to her, give her um, information about places to visit, but she's um, planning to stay in one place. So she might going to stay in Sigihua and in Chargao and flying out um, in Indonesia because she wanted to do surfing. So I met her and then we hung out and we went to Ayala and we got um, a Thai food. Yeah, it was oh, the best meal ever. That's the best meal that I had after a few days. Um, I ordered chicken, green chicken curry and the lemongrass. At the lemongrass, which is in Ayala Mall. And she ordered something. Second noodles. Yeah, but that's my probably the first proper meal. That was the best. We enjoyed it. Then we hung around. And then yeah, we walk all the time. We went um we kind of like explore the mall. I show her around of course and then the next day she have to travel going to Bohol and then Bohol to Sikihora. Oh yeah, she's going to, she's in Bohol right now and headed to Sikihora. I wish I could join, but not now, maybe next week. So maybe I could catch her in Sikihora Island after my paperwork, medical. If everything will be okay. Because I'm, <laughs> it, it, it takes so, like it takes forever, honestly. It's exhausting. It's the expenses. It's draining. But because of my dream job, of course, I'm going to pursue it. Continue. I'm getting close, so I just need to continue the medical. Of course, the evaluation. I need to wait the evaluation of my overall result of my lab test, my blood, and everything. And then after that, we'll go to um, another doctor for my, of course, personal hygiene. 
then yeah, after that, I will have a time to take a break again. I'll be in Sikihor for sure. I don't know when, but hopefully soon. Because I need the ocean. I need the ocean. I need the sun. Um, I need the great food, coffee, meditation, run. I need it. So yeah, I'm really excited. Looking forward to it. So for now, I'm going to enjoy the process. I'm going to enjoy while I'm here. Then. Yeah. I'm looking forward to. Visit secure and my parents. Hmm. I'm full. This is a new bread, so you're lucky. Here, go eat it. Eat it. No, don't waste. Man, don't waste the food. Oh my god, he's so lazy. Well, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> it's okay, okay. No, <laughs> clothes are fine. Me. Ming, 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 ming. So I'm done. I am going to work a little bit on my computer and I'm going to edit mine. So I am done and I am going to um, edit my video, work a little bit on my computer. I need to continue searching another job. <laughs> no, maybe, yeah, maybe. But I need to edit my video, edit my photos and um, submit to Adobe stock so I, I need to earn more because I need to survive here <laughs> but anyway let's go inside I am I am going to cook my chicken so I'm going to cook chicken and and I'm going to use the kitchen of the landlady so she have the stove but I have all the ingredients but she's not here, maybe she's in her room, so I'll ask her later on. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to cook, so I don't have to, um, you know, um, cook later on. If I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat. But also, um, I have to cook rice, so maybe I could ask the landlady that I can cook the rice early. So if I'm hungry, I can eat it. But yeah, anyway, let's go cook the chicken. I'm sad. The only thing that I need is onion and garlic. And then also pepper. But then I forgot to buy pepper. So I'm just going um, to cook with garlic and onion and soy sauce. I bought my soy sauce right here. Uh, vinegar and then oyster sauce. So yeah, I'm excited. <gasps> And then the chicken also guys, I bought the chicken, it's 117 for half kilo. I think chicken or pork, any meat, I think it's cheap than vegetables this time. I mean like because of the weather. So yeah. And this is an olive oil. I mean, yeah, I think this is like two years ago, three years ago.
So guys, um, I got rice and chukbo. And then So I am eating here inside of our room because I need to take care of some stuff. I have a lot of um, paperwork that I have to do. Uh, my agency just sent me, or my employer just sent me a very long message email that I have to read it and I also have to print it out later, maybe tomorrow. Like, oh, it's like a hundred pages. So. So yeah, I think I need to eat for now and then yeah, try to look it up while eating and then tonight I'm going to write all the documents that I need to print out, you know, to submit. Oh, anyway, it's, it's a lot of um, documents, but yeah, I'm almost there. It's a uh, signing contract. So, anyway, I'll explain it to you later. For now, I am going to eat my chicken adobo. We'll try, I'll try the chicken adobo. Mm. <laughs> so, here. So I will enjoy my dinner while I'm uploading my video. I am uploading my video right now, currently uploading. So hopefully it will be finished before 8 so I could do a premiere later on. Oh, then I'm going to post my Patreon and I'm going to post my YouTube community. I'm gonna be busy tonight. <laughs> another beautiful day here in Lapu-Lapu and I just finished preparing my breakfast right here this is yogurt bowl with fruits granola and some nuts and of course peanut butter this is you know you know me that this is my <laughs> usual breakfast especially if I have kitchen so yeah I'm happy that I was able to cook and prepare my own meal here in my best friend place where she's oh my god that's oh ew, the flies went inside of my coffee huh now I that's mean <laughs> it's just go inside of my cups and just like flying around so yeah anyway continue <laughs> So again, I'm happy to be back here, but tomorrow I will take care of my medical again because I have to do my pap smear to check if my flower is fine <laughs> and I have to talk to the doctor and any recommendation and after that I have to take care of my paperwork so I have like a, I need to print thousands of documents tomorrow 
for my agency and for my employer so yeah it's gonna be um, busy for day for me tomorrow so yesterday I you know I'm I had an amazing day I mean I have a very relaxing day yesterday because that was the time where um, I could um, relax and enjoy I mean also today because it's Sunday so I don't have to do anything so yeah I have like two days to relax Saturday and today so yeah basically I'm doing um, yesterday I'm doing um, my normal routine which is meditating well, I did dance meditation and I made my breakfast healthy breakfast similar as I have right now and reading I did a lot of reading yesterday and also <laughs> a download in an apps where I could um, play well you know while I, I have a spare time or not doing anything for my brain and do some research and also post pictures so I was productive yesterday honestly um, yeah but that's pretty much it that I did yesterday and also I cook um, chicken adobo so I was happy <laughs> I'm so happy and um, I think that's pretty much it that I did yesterday and then I went to sleep early so I could take a rest wake up early um, wake up early the next morning so yeah today so yeah it was great to get back to your um, morning routine especially morning routine because it's it boosts my energy in the morning um, makes my day um, my whole day um, beautiful especially if I started meditating and also gratitude so yeah I will try to be the best version of myself <laughs> um, especially I'm getting closer to work on my dream job so I want to make sure that you know mentally and physically I'm ready and so yeah I for now I don't have like an update of my life aside being single <laughs> single <laughs> and missing my parents missing my dogs um, missing the island of Sikihor being under the sun um, you know swimming close to nature having a good coffee having a good food so yeah i miss that and aside that i you know i'm also kind of like physically um tired because of all i did but you know it's part of it it's part of the progress of my journey so i'm i'm fine flies are everywhere to finish everything so yeah i'm gonna kill the flies but yeah, I think that's pretty much it um, as of now. But tomorrow it's gonna be a long day for me, so I will update you guys what I'm, what's the progress, and um, what will be the next, and how's my day. If you enjoy just sitting down and talking about, you know, what's going on in my life, then I could share. So yeah. Um, I don't have any plan today so just going to continue my um, reading and maybe edit some video and photos for my social media yeah, I, I haven't uploaded like I'm very 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 late uploading or updating my social media but for now, I, I don't really care about it because I'm focusing on my goals right now. But of course, YouTube, I cannot, you know, give up. So I'm still talking to you guys. So I'm excited. Sorry, guys, but the flies is like flying all over me and my food. 
so I'm gonna start eating my breakfast though before the fly enjoy it so yeah um, yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much for listening kind of like um, boring <laughs> um, yeah so thank you so much for watching and if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe comment like my video it would really help it means a lot to me and if you want to support my future content you can click my patreon and paypal in the description below and if you want to buy me a coffee then you can click my paypal in the description below thank you so much guys and thank you so much to my new patreon supporter i'm going to send a message to you all of you guys who is a member of my who are the member of my patreon yeah and i think that's pretty much it and i will see you in my next one have a wonderful day and stay hydrated be kind all the time i love you all i will enjoy my breakfast It's mouth watering. <laughs>